Hey guys, do you want to uh, talk to you now, now about the the eternal life? And so we can start this off at Revelation 20, at the end of the thousand year reign of Christ. Of course, the dragon was in the pit. Uh, if we go to Revelation 20, we can have a look at this. And it says... Uh, and when the thousand years have expired, Satan shall be loosed. Satan shall be loosed from his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, and to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is of the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw great white thrones. And him that sat, I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, whose face, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead that which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire which is the second death. And whose Who's ever, uh, whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 21 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the temple of tabernacle of God is with men, and he shall dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying never there shall be any more pain for the former things have, are passed away and he that sat upon the throne said behold I make all things new make all things new and he said unto me right for these words are faithful and he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water, water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, but the fearful, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come up here. I will show you the lamb, the I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away. And he 
carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the new Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the gate lieth four square, and the length is as large as, as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand furlongs. Six. Twelve thousand furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it are equal, equal in about fifteen hundred miles miles in our measurements. And he measured the wall thereof, and a hundred and forty four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is of an angel, which is sixty five meters. I, I've uh, googled it to be like. And the building of the wall, as it was of jasper, and the city. Uh, was of pure gold like unto clear glass and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones the first foundation was jasper the second sapphire the third Charles Sedony, the fourth an emerald uh, the fifth sardonyx the sixth sardius the seventh chrysolite the eighth beryl the ninth topaz the tenth chrysoprasus the eleventh <laughs> Uh, a jacinth and the twelfth an amethyst and the twelve gates were twelve pearls every se several gate was of one pearl and the street of the city was pure gold as it were transparent glass and I saw no temple therein for the Lord God Almighty and the lamb of the, tem lamb of the, of the temple of it and the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth shall bring their glory and their honour into it, and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there and they shall bring the glory and honour of the nations into it and they shall in no wise enter into it anything that devile, devileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life Revelation 22 and he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, and in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there, tree, was there the tree of life, so on either side of the river, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it and his servants shall serve him and they shall see his face and his name shall be on their foreheads and there shall be no night there and they need no candle neither light of the sun for the Lord God giveth them light and they shall reign forever and ever and he said unto me these sayings are faithful and true and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had, he had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am a fellow servant 
and of thy brother, the prophets, and of them which keepeth the sayings of this book, worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He said, um, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he which he that is righteous let him be righteous still and he that is holy let him be holy still and behold I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the ending the first and the last blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city for without are the dogs the sorcerers for without are the dogs the sorcerers the, the whoremongers the idolaters and whoever maketh and loveth a lie I Jesus have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit of the, and the bride say, Come, and let him which heareth say, Come, and let him that is a first come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of the life of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of this prophecy of the book. If, ev if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues which are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the things written, the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testify these things saith, Surely I come quickly amen even so Lord Jesus even so come Lord Jesus the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all amen so what a great finish um, <clears throat> so yeah we have the reign of Christ and then Satan's released, he tries his luck again, fire comes down from heaven and devours them. Then everyone then he's cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. And then everyone's delivered up to the great white throne judgment to to well, all except the people that were part of the first resurrection. Uh, such blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection as such the second uh, death has no power but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years meaning the ones that came down for a thousand years with Christ are not going to be part of this white great or white throne judgment no matter what people might think the scripture says they're not part of this which is the judgment of either eternal condemnation to the lake of fire or to eternal life and then comes a new earth new heaven and a new Jerusalem comes down and then people live forever and ever with God so I'm Pastor Justin Roberts from End of the Age God Prophecy God bless you it is done <laughs>